This week, you can meet up for a game of chess and visit with the Easter Bunny. The Holiday Nature Preserve Association welcomes spring, and dog owners will want to head to the Wayne Ford Civic League on Saturday. I'll have all the details coming up this week in Westland. The Westland Public Library is currently undergoing a major renovation and expansion project of their existing building on Central City Parkway. The work will be completed later this year, but in the meantime, the library has a temporary location inside the former Marshall Middle School. While not all their services and programs are available, many are. This includes the Chess Club that meets on Tuesday evenings and Saturday afternoons. Whether you're a seasoned player or just learning the game, you're encouraged to join in the fun. You can bring your own board and pieces or use one of the library sets. The Chess Club meets in the Media Center on Tuesdays from 6 to 8 p.m. and also on Saturdays from 1 to 4 p.m. The library is temporarily located inside the Marshall Middle School at 31800 Bayview. You can also get more details at Westland Library Org. Easter falls on April 9th this year, so you only have a couple of weeks left to take the kids to see the Easter Bunny. He'll be available for pictures at the Westland Shopping Center through Saturday, April 8th. Walk-up guests are welcome, but reservations are encouraged. By going to whereisbunny.com, you can pick your time, slot, and avoid the lines when you arrive. As a bonus, when you book online, you'll receive two free gifts valued at $25. Hours vary by day and appointments may fill up fast. The Westland Shopping Center is located at 35,000 Warren Road and you can find them on Facebook for more details on their upcoming events. March is Disabilities Awareness Month. It's time to draw attention to the many who live with disabilities each and every day of their lives. It's also a reminder there are probably people in your circles that deal with invisible disabilities that you may not even be aware of. As a reminder, the Westland Police Department has created a special needs 911 registry. This is an opportunity to complete a form detailing the specifics of any special needs residents at an address. This will allow first responders to be better prepared when they arrive on the scene in case of an emergency. The online form can be completed by going to the police page at cityofwestland.com or a paper form can be filled out and turned back in at the front desk of the police station located at 36701 Ford Road. Spring finally arrives this week and the Holiday Nature Preserve Association is celebrating. They'll be hosting a first day of spring walk on Saturday, March 25th beginning at 10 a.m. The 90-minute walk will also be at a leisurely pace, so there'll be plenty of opportunity to take in the scenery and enjoy some of the wildlife of the preserve. After the walk, you're encouraged, but not required, to join in for a short workday, from noon until around 2 p.m. Volunteers will be cutting back some invasive plants and picking up trash in the area. Come for the walk only, the work only, or for both. Please keep in mind that this will probably be a muddy walk on the floodplain, so make sure you have the appropriate footwear and clothing. You can get more information by going to hnpa.org. This Saturday is the return of the Westland Dog Vaccination Day. Recognizing the fact that there's a high cost factor to keeping your dogs up to date on shots, we're here to help. Thanks to our partners, Westland Car Care, Michigan Humane, and the Wayne Ford Civic League, we are able to offer rabies, distemper, parvo, and lepto vaccinations for a total cost of just $20 per animal. There will also be microchipping and City of Westland licenses available to purchase at an additional cost. This is a great deal 
and a huge discount from the normal price at a veterinary clinic. Thanks to the generosity of the Wayne Ford Civic League, veterans with proper ID can get their dogs taken care of absolutely free. So grab your pooch and head to the Wayne Ford Civic League at 1661 North Wayne Road on Saturday, March 25th from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. for Dog Vaccination Day. This week on WLND, the Westland City Council meeting. This meeting of the Westland City Council was held and recorded on Monday, March 20th in the Council Chambers of Westland City Hall. The Jefferson Barnes Learning Lab has another of their popular hackathon programs scheduled for this Saturday. This session will teach kids ages 8 to 18 how to build a computer. So if you have a son or daughter who is interested in computers and electronics, this is a perfect class for them. The free hackathon runs from 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. and lunch is included. Students must be registered in advance, so you can do that by going to jbllnorwayne.com. That brings this episode to a close. If you missed anything, visit our website at cityofwestland.com for all of the details on everything going on in our community. Be sure to join us next week for a completely new list of events and programs, including information on the library's Westland Rights Project for 2023. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube for up-to-the-minute news and information. Thanks for watching.